All right, as an entrepreneur, you're gonna to have to forget your losses super quick. The challenge is a lot of times is people dwell on it, right? There's this whole saying, you either have wins or you have lessons. And at the end of the day, there's going to be failures. But what do you learn from those failures as you go through them? And then how fast can you recover from them and go forward is gonna have a direct impact on your success as an entrepreneur. My first real business, as you would call it, it was in the real estate industry. And we had a mortgage company. And then during that time, things were really, really good. And we built up a very big business and we started expanding into a real estate agency. Then we started building into high-end construction and development and built a really successful business really, really fast. And what happened though was, is back in 2008, the market started crashing and we got caught. I'll never forget waking up going, man, something is just not right. You know, I, I had been going so hard, working crazy hours, and just spending all this time doing what I had to do to, to grow that business. And I was young too, so I was working hard and playing hard as well because I was younger than this was being built. So I didn't really have, I, I just had my blinders on and it was go, 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 and build, 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 right? And what happened is when the market came to a screeching halt, I look up one morning and we're stuck. Real quick on paper, I thought I was worth a few million dollars, close to four or five million bucks on paper. And then instantly that, that revenue was completely gone. So there's a couple of learning lessons there that I took on the chin. Uh, one of them being that obviously what you have on paper in the real estate world doesn't always equate to how much you're worth uh, because that thing could fluctuate up and down in any given market. Two, you can't have all your eggs in one basket. So what I had was a business that was all revolving around high-end real estate construction between the loan side, between the real estate side, between the development side. And when that market crashed and took off, like tanked, I lost everything. Went completely belly up. Uh, I'll never forget how much of a failure that I felt like uh, being as that I had to file bankruptcy, a corporate bankruptcy at that time. And it was very depressing, super you know, stressful, felt like a complete failure. And then I realized one day, I'll never forget, I was sitting in the condo that I owned, well, I was getting ready to lose in a foreclosure. And I was counting change, rolling change, right? Kind of counting my pennies, get some, figure out how I was gonna flip that into something else. And I realized real quick that it wasn't the define. it was a defining moment for me is what I realized, right? Like I can sit here and wallow in misery and feel like a failure and be depressed. But keep in mind that lasted for about a week and a half, two weeks for me, where I felt that way. And I, then I realized that like, I have to do something different. I can't sit here and spend my time thinking about what could have been, or, you know, I should have done this in the past, or I should have done that. It was the fact that I realized that I needed to go and focus on what's ahead of me, not what was behind me. And so I started building out and getting back into business. I started doing the things that I needed to do to grow my business back up. And basically what that is, is for me, it was, I didn't realize it at the time, but I was, I was really exercising my resiliency muscle, right? Like as entrepreneurs, you have to be super resilient to grow, push past hardships, push past failures, learn from those failures and turn them into lessons and then go from there. But I'll never forget that time of just being super depressed and challenged, but my ability to forget that loss, right? Losing what amounts equated to millions of dollars of you know, millions of dollars of wealth uh, at that time, just evaporating and filing bankruptcy was a defining moment for me to have the ability to look forward and start growing. And I would not be sitting where I'm at today. We have built back better, a better business, a better lifestyle, better opportunity. And at that time was when I realized that, you know what? I had that business, it was cranking, I was working my ass off, but what really mattered was the lifestyle that I wanted. And that's when I really started focusing more of like, all right, what lifestyle do I want? And then what's the business that will support it? So then I started, I got back into real estate, started doing some different real estate deals. I got more into the marketing side of things because I had started my marketing business as kind of like a side hobby in 2006 and so that thing was starting to kind of you know be more intriguing because it gave me the ability to travel generate money and travel leveraging the internet and so we have now that's obviously been a long time since that's happened but without being resilient without 
being able to forget that massive loss quickly, you know, we wouldn't be sitting here today. And the thing is, what I would love to impart upon you, uh, knowledge wise, is do it faster. Don't take a couple of weeks to get over your losses. Do it instantly. And over the time, as I've built that resiliency muscle and I've understood the value of forgetting failures fast, you know, when we've now, not everything's been perfect since that, that moment and we've had failures. We've had companies that haven't worked. We've launched opportunities that have just cost money and we've lost revenue on. We've had businesses that have soared and done great. We've had deals that have gone sideways. That's just part of being an entrepreneur, but those failures and those things that have happened, I've been able to condense them, sock in the in the misery for at least a little bit for you know about 10, 15 minutes, and then move forward. If you're constantly one step ahead and looking forward to where you're gonna go, it's easier to forget those failures. And when you do that, and when you realize you're able to do that, that's going to set you on the path of success going forward and allow you to focus on growth and expand as opposed to retraction, which failure will make you start questioning what you do, how you do it, and whether or not you're built for this, right? So what you can do from there is focus on the expansion side. All right, great. Hey, that failure happened. Let's go. Let's move forward. Being able to forget your, your failures fast will become a tool that you can leverage as an entrepreneur to help you reach new levels of success going forward.